Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up the launcher for online CTR. So since there are still many 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 people that are encountering issues on how to set up the launcher, I'm gonna make this short video and explain uh, step by step how to actually make it, you know, work. <laughs> so uh, before anything uh, you need to have uh, three files. Uh, the launcher which you can find on the official server and in the description on this video. The launcher will be updated, I think, uh, in the future, so every time it gets updated, I will update the description as well with the new launcher, okay? Then you need a original, non-modified CTR NTSCU bin ROM, um, because the game runs on the American version, so you need this specific ROM. Lastly, you need a um, American BIOS, of course, because without this, uh, basically the emulator won't start. Okay, so you need this. Firstly, extract the launcher. I already did this by making by making this file here, uh, this uh, sorry this folder. And once you actually extract it, you'll see everything uh, like this. You have some, you know, strange files you actually don't have to care about, and then you have the launcher itself, the executable. Run the executable. Okay, I'm gonna move it to this other window. Okay, and it should appear like this. So, um, I have the version 0 0.34 uh, beta of the launcher. This version has uh, different languages. So, in case you actually, you know, are not English uh, speaker, uh, I myself, I'm Italian, so if I want to, I can actually put Italian language and there you go, it just works. I made the translation for the Italian version, so, <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, never mind. So, go back to English, and let's start from the very beginning. So, uh, the first thing that it asks you to put is the username. So, I'm gonna put Orso, there you go, and it just turned into a green, you know, check which means it's an accepted uh, name secondly it asks you to put the path to the BIOS so what you need to do is actually click on the three dots here then go to the desktop in my case go to launcher which is the folder we made with the launcher and the files we need and then you're gonna select the the BIOS the bin of the BIOS okay you select it by clicking on it and then you click open I have the system in Italian so <laughs> bear with me so but in general you just have to click on open and there you go now you have the path to the bin of the BIOS lastly you need the same thing but for the CTR ROM okay so again it will open the same folder that we selected the BIOS in and then you're gonna select the ROM this time then again open and there you go, free checks, which means we're health set. The, the launcher tells us that the BIOS and the ROM are detected, which means they are both valid. If they are not, uh, the launcher is going to tell you that something's wrong and you need to change it. Um, this specific version of the launcher also has some extra settings, which are not e still working, but this is a you know a work in progress, so it's gonna work uh, in the later versions of the launcher. So basically, um, you can set the individual you know audio settings, which is the effects. I can just put it at a half volume. Then I can just <laughs> mute the music. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, all the veteran CTR players always put music at zero usually, <laughs> uh, and then the voice. Uh, I also put this usually at zero or a fifty, depends on whenever I want to listen or not to the to the characters' voices. And then you can actually set variation on or off, depends on what you want to do. Next, you have advanced settings, which is basically composed of two uh, values here. You have skip game check zoom, which you should leave unchecked, otherwise, as is, as the launcher and a as the launcher says, there may be issues when you actually patch the, um, the file, the, the ROM, so leave it unchecked, 
And lastly, you have delete all versions, which every time there's a new version of the game, it deletes the previous versions in case you have any. Okay. And there you go. Now, uh, the launcher tells you there's an update available and the version of the update you can actually get. So click on the update button and it'll start downloading everything. It'll download the emulator first, which is of obviously very much needed. It's gonna take the time that it needs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how fast. Okay. Then the client, then the patch itself. This is the X Delta patch that it's gonna apply to the to the ROM. Please be fast. <laughs> okay. Then the settings. And lastly, it's gonna. Okay. It applied the patch. So we should be set. But there's still some things to do yet. So, what you're gonna do now is launch game. So, you launch the game and the emulator should pop up. Here you go. So, okay, the game opens up, which is perfect. Obviously, I have a fairly powerful PC, so when it comes to emulation or playing video games, I have almost no issues at all. But if you happen to have a lesser performant uh, PC you may encounter issues with the emulator uh, so bear this in mind okay if you have issues like the screen not popping up or something like that there may be issues with the emulator or with your PC not being powerful enough or or if the PC doesn't have like specific files that need they're like important for the emulator to start something like that. So if you encounter any of these issues, just log in on the server or the official server Discord and ask out. Okay. Ask help. Uh, people should be helping you when that happens. So the first thing you need to check is the client itself. So, the client, once you start the emulator, should uh, write this. So, you have Duck Station Pine Socket acquired and then uh, everything else. This should be circling like at any time, which means it's working like it should. If you have like a different text, if you have different text here that says you have issues with Pine, you should do this. Go to settings, then you go to advanced here, and then once this window appears, go down to enable pine here. If this is unchecked, check it. Okay. Once you do that, reload, reload the emulator entirely, close this, then launch game, and this should appear after you do that. There we go. This should appear if you enable the pine. Okay. Now that we did this, you need to configure your controller. Okay. So you go down to settings, controllers, and this another this other window should appear. So two things: port two, controller port two has to be not connected. Okay. This is important. And secondly, in port one. As you can see, this is our controller. Every single like button is configured with a keyboard uh, key. Okay, so you need to reconfigure it. How do you do that? Of course, you connect a controller to the PC, and then you start putting each and every single button manually. So you click on up, and I press up on the D-pad, and there you go. It appears here. Same thing with left, right, down. And we did the D-pad. Now we're gonna do the left analog stick. So up. Oh, oops, I did diagonal. Oh, there you go. Down. Left. Right. Now, for the bumpers, L2, L1, R2, R1. Now the option buttons. So select, start. Now we have L3. L3 R3, oh, whoops, wrong button, okay, there we go. Now the face buttons, so triangle, square, circle, cross. And the right analog, so up, down, left, right, oh, whoops, okay. Now, 
everything is set. You don't need to save anything. Uh, Duck Station automatically saves the controls, so you just have to do close. Click on close, and you're set. There we go. Everything is set now. You're ready to go. Now, let me explain how the different servers work. So you have uh, different servers based on different continents, or nations in this case. Um, usually people play in Europe because servers actually don't matter. Uh, like, there's no lag thing. Like, everything is just item le itemless racing, so it doesn't matter, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, show you what happens when you actually enter a room. So you have different rooms, right? In each room there are a maximum of 8 players that can enter. If you see a room that is grayed out, it means they are playing a match. They are in a race. If you see this, when it becomes orange, it means I can join that room, okay? So let me join uh, room A. Okay, now I am the only one in the, r in the lobby and I can choose the track I want to race on, okay? Uh, so let's put Cove. I can choose the laps, how many laps I want, so let's see three. And then I can choose the character. So this is another important thing that many people don't know unless you actually, you know, play the game at very high levels. There's, there's been a change to the stats of, uh, of the classes. Every class in the game has max speed and max acceleration, but they kept the original turning. So, which means what this means is Dingo Dial, which is speed, has six speed, six acceleration, and one turn. Okay, which means they are the lowest uh, turning class. Okay, then you have Engine, which is acceleration class, which means he has six, six, three. Okay. Cortex is balanced, which means he's 665. And then you have Polar, which is 666. Okay. Uh, depending on which class you want to pick, uh, it's your choice. Like, I, I chose Cove, which usually means you have to pick a speed class because it's easier that way. Okay. So I'm going to put Dingo. Okay, there you go. I'm in the race. Okay, I'm not gonna play. Okay, uh, this is another important thing. I paused the game, but uh, where you are in a race against other people, this does not work. Like they will not be paused. Just as like like you will be the only one paused, but the other people will be racing normally. Okay, uh, the only way for you to actually exit the race it's not by going into quit in the pause menu, but to press you have to press select, and there you go. Now I'm, I'm going to be in the main menu again, okay? So each time you want to go back, you have to go. Let's see, I'm here now, I press select, and I go back. I'm in a room. Uh, I don't want to be in a room again. Oh, wait, what happened? Okay. Uh, so I'm, go I'm in a room, I chose the track, I chose the laps, but I can't play anymore. So I press select, and then I go back, okay? So this is everything you need to know about the launcher and how to play on the emulator. If you have any issues regarding emulator itself or the launcher, please go on the server and ask help out. People will help you. Um, if you have any question regarding the launcher or the emulator itself, please write a comment below the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!